October is Reformation Month. October 31st, 1517, Martin Luther nailed his 95 theses upon the door of the Wittenberg Church. He did that to publicly demonstrate the errors of the Roman Catholics, and he, by God's grace and providence, ignited the Reformation. There were many that God used during the time of Reformation. Reformers such as William Tyndale, John Huss, John Knox, John Calvin, Theodore Beza, Henry Bullinger, and a host of other biblically-minded theologians, statesmen, pastors, and teachers that continued to bring the gospel of the Bible to God's people in the church, in their homes, in the university, and even in the streets. It began, though, not with Luther, but with John Wycliffe, the morning star of the Reformation. With such an important figure often neglected, Puritan Publications has published The Life and Times of John Wycliffe in both hardback and ebook form. Though there have been some biographical articles published about Wycliffe, there is not much more given except by way of short biographies for children or small sections in larger historical works. Now, this volume is a full account and a very helpful biography of Wycliffe and will aid the reader in Wycliffe's lasting influences that we as Christians even experience today. Significantly, for example, Wycliffe was the first reformer to take the Bible and place it in the hands of the English laity. This is a hallmark moment in Reformation history. So go to the Puritan Shop at www.puritanshop.com for more information. And may the Lord bless you as you read and study His Word.